Hey you guys, welcome to Audrey's Reading Area and a big shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sanaa, yes, David the Third, yes, Kaden, love y'all, miss y'all. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5 p.m. What time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5 and please subscribe. L-I-V-E. Live at five, you guys. Please subscribe. Go to YouTube. Look for Audrey's Reading Area. Bam. <laughs> Look for Audrey's Reading Area. Yes, smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right. Today's Tuesday, Educational Tuesday. I'm just going to kind of jump right in there and tell you guys a little bit about the custodians that work everywhere to do the cleaning in schools and, and different places and offices and things like that. Maintenance people, custodians, community helpers, custodians by Debbie L. Yanuk. They are people too, and they're just the nicest people. They are, yes, they are people too, whether you want to admit it or not, they are people too. And we should treat them with respect and nicely, just like how we treat each other. The custodians, I know quite a few of them. Yes. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this book about community helpers. So custodians, they keep buildings clean and in good shape. They clean schools and office buildings. They also clean shopping centers, hotels, and hospitals. They make sure office workers, teachers, and students have a clean place to work. And I'm gonna add and learn. Yes. They do. Shout out to Anna. What custodians do? Custodians clean where people live, work, and learn. They pick up dirt from carpets with vacuum cleaners. They wash floors. Custodians dust furniture. They wipe sinks in the bathroom. They empty trash cans. Custodians change light bulbs and repair broken desks. It says repair means to make something work again. Repair. Okay. Open the doors for us when we lock our keys in. Don't forget about that. I'm just saying. Where custodians work. Custodians work in many places. Some custodians work indoors. They clean office buildings, schools, and hospitals. Other custodians work outdoors. They clean hotel pool areas and patios. They sometimes mow lawns. Tools custodians use. Custodians use many tools. They use mops and buckets. They sweep dirty floors with brooms. Custodians use wrenches to fix dripping faucets. They use screwdrivers to repair broken chairs. Custodians sometimes carry their supplies in rolling carts. Definition of a wrench, a tool with jaws used to tighten and loosen pipes. What custodians wear? Custodians wear clothing that keeps them safe. They wear shoes with rubber bottoms so they do not slip on wet floors. Custodians often wear rubber gloves. The gloves keep unsafe chemicals away from their hands. They sometimes wear masks on their faces. Definition of chemicals. A substance used in some cleaning products. Chemical, yes. School custodians, shout out to Anna again. School custodians clean schools. They make sure the bathrooms have enough paper towels and soap. They wipe the tables after students eat lunch. Some school custodians arrive early in the morning. Other school custodians work after the school day ends. Shout out to Deanne. Deanne, Deanna. How custodians learn. Custodians learn by working on the job. They work with another custodian who has a lot of skill, skills. Custodians learn to mix chemicals and to run polishing machines. 
they learn which types of cleaners to use for each job. Custodians must be able to understand directions. Okay? Okay? <laughs> they must be able to understand directions. You see that? Learn to use that machine. People who help custodians. Many people help custodians. Window washers clean windows on large buildings. Teachers and students try to keep classrooms neat. They throw away trash and put in their chair, push in their chairs at the end of the day. Well, most of them at least. Window washer. How custodians help others. Custodians clean buildings and keep them safe. They clean office buildings after workers go home. Custodians keep hospitals clean. They also keep schools clean and in good shape. Mm -hmm. Hands on, clean a drawer. What you need, a drawer, tra a drawer, trash can, paper towels, soapy water, what you do. Pick a drawer to clean. Empty the drawer. Throw any trash from the drawer into the trash can. You guys know this. Just take a read. Pause and read it. You can help custodians by keeping your desk clean at school and throwing trash into the trash can. You can also help custodians by thanking them for doing a good job. Yes, and I thank them. So these are words to know. They Remember they gave definitions at the bottom? So see, these are some of the words. Chemical, a substance used in some cleaning products. Faucet, an object with a valve that is used to control the flow of water. People use faucets to turn water on and off, on and off. Machine, a tool made up of moving parts that is used to do a job, like a washing machine. I'm just saying. Repair, to make something work again. Custodians repair broken chairs and faucets. Supplies, items needed to do a job. Custodians use cleaning supplies. Vacuum cleaner, a machine that picks up dirt. Custodians use vacuum cleaners to pick up dirt from carpets and floors. And we get lots of that from these students. Just not caring and not putting the stuff in the trash can. Custodians are a big help and where would we be without them? So thank a custodian every day. The end. Community helpers, custodians. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and listening to me read fun, exciting, and educational books like this. Now you know all about custodians. Go thank a custodian tomorrow. Right, right, right. Thanks, Mom, for always being here. Thank you all for always being here, showing all this love and support. Thank you all for clicking like and share. Thank you all for, bam, going to Audrey's reading area. Bam, Audrey's reading area. And smashing that subscribe button for me. Smash it up. Well, guess I'll see you tomorrow, right? Live, L-I-V-E, live at five. See you tomorrow here at Audrey's Reading Area.